Hello loves and welcome back to another video. It's Raven Sierra and in today's video, I am sharing with you guys some tips on how to avoid split ends and also I'm going to provide my recommendation on how often you should be trimming your hair. A split end is where the end of your hair basically splits or frays apart. Now, this could be caused by several different things. This could be caused by weather, if you live in a dry climate. This could be caused by chemical processes. This could even be caused by heat tools. I'm going to discuss some things and ways that I think can help you avoid split ends and the main way that I combat split ends or just help to keep my hair healthy and preventing split ends because they're inevitable, you're going to get them regardless. But the main way that I try to mitigate breakage and avoid split ends is to avoid dryness. A few ways that I avoid dryness, which I have discussed this in other videos and have made routine videos as well. So definitely check those out. I will leave a card for those as well as leave those videos in the description box. But some of the ways that I avoid dryness would be to use a moisturizing shampoo. I also do a hot oil treatment within my wash day regimen. I also use leave-ins on my hair and hair serums. These not only help to condition my hair, but they also help protect my hair when I use heat and also help me to avoid dryness. Another thing that I use that kind of works alongside of the serums and the leave-ins is I always use a heat protectant when I'm heat styling my hair and I do limit heat styling to once a week. I try to use the blow dryer very minimally. I try to use the blow dryer for only about five minutes when I'm using it. Not really so much to avoid heat, but just to avoid the over manipulation. And also when I'm using the flat iron, I do not go above 350 degrees. And I believe all of these things together help me avoid dryness, help me maintain my length, and therefore help me to prevent getting split ends. Another thing that I do that helps with the dryness of my hair is I tie my hair down at night with a satin scarf and a bonnet. This not only protects my hair from my hair rubbing on the cotton, cotton is very absorbent and will absorb any oils that you have in your hair, but it can also be a little bit abrasive on the hair as well and can snap or break your hair if you are moving a lot in your sleep. And another thing that I do that helps me to prevent split ends kind of goes along with the tools that I use on my hair. I do not use fine tooth combs. I don't use brushes with really hard or harsh bristles that are really close together. And I'm also very careful of how I style my hair. I try not to style my hair in any ways that kind of pull my hair, use a lot of tension on my hair. I don't use a lot of hair accessories that pull my hair or cause a lot of tension. And these are things that I've kind of changed over time. If I do style my hair like that, it's typically on the very last day of wash day. I don't sleep in it and I take it down immediately that same night to avoid any breakage. Now that I have discussed some ways that you can avoid split ends, I want to share some reasons with you on why it is important to trim your hair. The number one reason why you should keep up with your trims is because it makes your hair look better and feel better. When you cut off all those dead ends or just keep up with your trims, regularly your hair will feel a lot smoother because those frayed ends are gone and you have cut them off and your hair will look a lot thicker a lot of times people hold on to dead ends and all that does is weigh your hair down and make your hair look thinner than it actually is. If you go ahead and trim your ends and you stay on top of trimming your ends, you'll notice that you have to cut less every time you get your ends trimmed and you won't be cutting off a big chunk every single time you get your ends trimmed. I'm gonna share with you ladies my recommendation in just a few minutes 
on how often I recommend you getting your ends trimmed and where I actually go to get my ends trimmed. My recommendation is based on an opinion that I got from my stylist. So I wanted to make sure I got an expert opinion so that I could share that with you guys. One thing that you'll also notice when you get your ends trimmed on a consistent basis is that your hair is a lot more easier to manage. And that's because you don't have the thin scraggly ends at the bottom getting tangled up and wrapping around each other. And I have definitely experienced this firsthand. I have waited long periods of time before getting trims and I noticed that my hair would shed a lot more. My wash days would be so much harder because my hair would be getting tangled and it was a lot harder to manage. And my hair was also snapping off a lot more. So as a result of this, I had to cut a lot more off every time I would go get my trims. I thought that this video was very timely to make because I recently just got my ends trimmed a few days ago and I'm going to insert a before video of how my hair looked before I got it trimmed. I recently actually cut my hair on April 1st. So what you're looking at is about four to five weeks worth of growth. And then I'm gonna show you guys an after shot of what my hair looked like after I got it trimmed. Now, you will notice that there is not much of a difference. And I believe that this is due to not only my regimen and me staying on top of my hair, taking very good care of my hair day in and day out, week after week, and just staying very consistent. But I believe it's also because I went back after four weeks and got my ends trimmed before any problems started to arise in my hair. Now, when I go get my ends trimmed, I like to go to a professional hair cutting specialist. And the reason why I like to go to a hair cutting specialist is because a lot of people in salons, they know how to cut hair, but they don't have continued hair education on actually cutting and trimming hair. I actually go to Great Clips and the stylist or my stylist, I go to the same stylist every single time. She informed me that they have to go to training like every six months or so. So they are specialized in cutting hair. I go to the same lady every time. And I usually, if she's not available, it's only been about one or two times when she was not available, I would go to someone else. But they usually keep a record or profile of how much you got cut off of your hair each time. So I'm not saying that you have to go to great clips, but I would say definitely go to a hair cutting specialist in my opinion. If you are comfortable cutting your own ends at home, then definitely by all means, I do not want to break up your routine or change that. This is just what I found to be the most helpful for me. I have also gotten my hair trimmed at a salon, but I found that my cut was more thorough and precise when I went to an actual hair cutting specialist like the stylist that I visit at Great Clips. And when I did talk to my stylist, she recommended that since I have chemically processed hair, that I come in every four to six weeks. She also said that since I am in the process of growing out my hair, I could possibly get by with waiting to about eight weeks to get my hair trimmed, but she would not recommend going beyond that. This stylist has been cutting my hair for since I got my hair relaxed and my first relaxer was in October of 2020 and she's been cutting my hair each time and she's been providing me with this same recommendation for a while now. I'm just finally taking her advice and I'm going to stick with her advice of coming every four to six weeks. And the reason why I'm going to do this is because I have waited longer. I've waited 12 weeks. I've waited 10 weeks. I've waited much longer than she has recommended. And I've noticed that each time I've waited longer, I've had to cut 
more off of my hair. And being that I'm trying to maintain my length and grow out my hair, I really wanna stay consistent on top of my trims and cut anything off if necessary. Now, as I was saying before, if you ladies feel comfortable with dusting your ends at home, you definitely could do so. I would just recommend investing in some hair cutting shears so that you get the best results possible and maybe watching a video or two on how to trim hair. I actually have a video on that as well if you wanna check it out. So now that I have shared a little bit of information with you guys, as well as my opinion, let me know what you ladies will be doing. How often do you get your hair trimmed? Some people can go longer than eight weeks and do not experience any issues, but I noticed that when I wait, I experience issues and I do not want to experience that anymore. So let me know what you do and let me know how you feel about trims. And I will see you ladies in the next video. Bye-bye.